Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I will explain sampling theorem for bandpass signals. In my earlier videos, I have discussed about sampling theorem for band limited signals. When you talk about band limited signals, then it is having frequency from zero to maximum. Means with band limited signals, frequency will be there from zero to FM. When you talk about band pass signals, then that is having frequency range from higher cutoff frequency to lower cutoff frequency. In this video, first I will explain you how to apply sampling theorem. After that, I will solve two examples by which there will be more clarity regarding how to apply sampling theorem on band pass signals. So first of all, let me discuss about characteristics of band pass signals. Here you can observe we have original signal that is band pass signal that is having higher cutoff frequency and lower cutoff frequency. If you have frequency which is greater than higher cutoff frequency, then response is zero. And if you have frequencies which is lower than lower cutoff frequencies, then response is zero. Here we have negative replica of this, right? So with band pass signals, bandwidth will be omega h minus omega l right and based on this bandwidth one can understand sampling theorem for band pass signals see in sampling theorem what we do is we use sampling frequency and to extract original signal from sampled signal sampling frequency should be at least twice of the bandwidth of the original signal x of omega so here bandwidth is omega h minus omega l for bandpass signals to apply sampling theorem sampling frequency that should be greater than or equal to 2b where b is bandwidth of this bandpass signals see this theorem is not up to this you need to understand one more equation in practice minimum sampling frequency fs that should be 2fm divided by k where k is fm divided by b if you substitute k is equals to fm by b then you will be getting fs is equals to 2b that is minimum sampling frequency but here one point that you need to note down see this k should be a minimum integer number for example when you solve example at a time you are getting k is equals to 1.4 then you will have to consider k is equals to 1. If you identify value of k that is 2.7, then you should consider k is equals to 2. You should not consider k is equals to 2.7, right? So it should be minimum integer number. Now let me solve two examples by which you will be having more clarity about how to apply sampling theorem for bandpass signals. See here in first example, we have band pass message signal that is having range from 4 kilohertz to 6 kilohertz. What is the smallest sampling frequency required to retain signal completely? So here we have a frequency range. See lower cutoff frequency FL that is 4 kilohertz and upper cutoff frequency FH that is 6 kilohertz. Based on lower cutoff and upper cutoff frequency, one can identify bandwidth that is FH minus FL and that will be 2 kilohertz. Once you have bandwidth, you need to calculate value of K that is FM divided by B. Here maximum frequency of this bandpass filter that is 6. So 6 divided by 2 that is 3. Here we have k that is integer number. So you will be observing this minimum sampling frequency that is 2 fm divided by k where fm that is 6 over here and k is 3. So you will be getting sampling frequency that is 4 kilohertz right. So here, if you use this equation directly, that is Fs is equals to 2B. So that will be resulting into correct answer. 
but that is not the case which will happen every time. Let me take one more example that will give you more clarity. Here in question, we have a message signal you can observe x of t that is 10 cos of 2000 pi t cos of 8000 pi t. So first of all, we need to understand this signal. Here with this signal, let me identify frequency components. So here what I'll do is, I'll simplify this equation. See here we have cos into cos signal, right? So first of all, we need to separate this cos into cos in terms of algebraic addition of cosine and sine components. So one should know 2 cos cos that is cos plus cos. So here we will be having phi. The reason is I am taking 2 inside. So 2 cos cos that is cos plus cos means cos of addition of these two frequency that is 10,000 pi t plus cos of subtraction of these two frequencies that is 6000 pi t right now we have message signal that is having two frequency components over here see first frequency component if i say f1 then that is omega 1 divided by 2 pi that is 10000 pi divided by 2 pi so that will be 5 kilohertz and second frequency that is omega 2 divided by 2 pi so 6000 pi divided by 2 pi that will be 3 kilohertz and based on these two frequencies here one can say maximum frequency is 5 kilohertz and one can say bandwidth that is a difference in between these two so that is f1 minus f2 and that has to be 2 kilohertz right now if you observe first question then here we need to identify sampling rate based on low pass uniform sampling theorem see as per low pass uniform sampling theorem sampling frequency is simply two times of fm that is a nyquist rate so that is 2 into 5 so that will be 10 kilohertz that is as per that is as per low pass filter right but when you talk about band pass signals so at that time first of all you need to identify value of k k is fm divided by b fm is phi b is 2 so k is 2.5 over here but I have told you value of k that should be minimum integer number you see here I have told you this k that is fm by b that should be minimum integer number right so here we have 2.5 so instead of 2.5 we need to consider 2 only now we need to calculate sampling frequency as per band pass signals and that will be 2fm divided by k here 2fm that we have calculated that is 10k divided by k is 2 so here sampling frequency for bandpass signal that has to be 5 kilohertz right so that is how basic process is there so this is what the calculation which we have for bandpass signals and this is what we have for band limited signals right so every time you should know this calculation as and when you apply equations it is not only about using equations right you need to be careful here this k that should be integer number right and it should be minimum integer number like if you have 2.9 then you should consider 2 it should not be 2.9 in this equation right otherwise you can directly use fs is equals to 2b but we are not using it why the reason is we should place a value of k that should be integer number instead of this 2.5 right it should be integer number so these are the basics that you should take care of when you solve problems based on sampling frequency for bandpass signals still if you have any confusion just place that in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video